Meanwhile, off the field, there's been quite a storm brewing in Bavaria over comments, uh, comments made by the injured goalkeeper, Manuel Neuer, exclusively to you for the <laughs> Athletic. So you sat down with him, what, last Friday? It was me and uh, Süddeutsche Zeitung, Philipp ah, right, Seldorf. Okay. We, both, we both met him in uh, near Munich uh, last week. And I was a bit surprised by the reaction because I came out of the interview feeling, okay, this guy feels really hurt. Right. This is you know, him saying, you've, I'm already on one leg, you've basically cut off my other leg. Okay, so by, the, the comments which caused the controversy were about the fact that Bayern had fired the goalkeeping coach yeah mm -hmm. and his best friend Tony Topalovic uh -huh. and I think it sounds innocuous enough you know goalkeeping coach does it really matter I think I came away from that interview understanding that for him but maybe goalkeepers in general the relationship is a lot closer than just somebody putting out the cones for you know an outfield players these guys work together now for 11 years when Neuer joined Bayern from Schalke, he insisted that Tapalovic would come with him. Mm. Uh, Jupp Heynckes hired him at the time, uh, making sure that he sort of fits the the coaching staff. And under Nagelsmann, Tapalovic was demoted from assistant coach. He'd been assistant coach, promoted under Hansi Flick and had really influence on the dressing room beyond working with the goalkeepers. And uh, that was sort of the beginning of the difficult relationship between Nagelsmann and Topalovic. But the key point for Neuer is, I think what he was really saying is, this guy is really important to me. He's also important to me when it comes to getting fit again, having a real chance of playing at my best level again after this injury. And what do you do? You sack him the moment I'm at home on crutches in rehab. Right. And he felt very badly treated. And obviously, you know, Bayern are saying, the public are saying, why couldn't he have done this in-house? But they had talks, and I guess they didn't really go anywhere, so he felt he had to go public with that grievance. OK, the injury, of course, is one not incurred in the course of playing football for Bayern, but rather while off skiing, which did slightly lends a different take to it. But why do you think Bayern would have made the decision at, as Neuer points out, such a key moment for him, to release the goalkeeping coach. Is it a sign that they don't actually plan a future with Neuer? You can interpret it that way, and I think that is the, the suspicion and um, the anxiety, perhaps, that, you know, what, what does that mean? Are they trying to get rid of me? Is this just, is it actually directed at me rather than him? But there's also, I think, more sort of banal reasons that it was no secret that Nagelsmann didn't get on with him, Nagelsmann um, said that we never really developed a good working relationship publicly. Mm. He, there were some rumors that Neuer very strenuously denied that uh, Tapalovic was even leaking some information from the coaching staff to the players through Neuer. Um, again, Manuel was very clear that uh, that's never happened and had, certainly hadn't happened under any of the other coaches. Um, so... On that level, you, as I said, you can understand Bayern saying we don't we want to change the goalkeeping coach. The, the the head coach wants to bring somebody else in, but to do it in January, right? The timing yeah, to do it in the season and to do it when Manuel Neuer was injured um, left I think more than a sour taste. And, and just to add one more thing, Bayern were very critical of Neuer, as you'd expect. And they say you know the timing of this message was was really off. We have big games coming up, and I sympathise uh, with that view. At the same time, you fired a goalkeeping coach right now. Um, a few days later, he talks to the media. When do you want him to to do this? I right. mean, should he wait till the summer? You know, when is the next game that is not meaningful for Bayern? It could be only in in June when they play a friendly, or in July. So. Um, I get, I get why the club were upset, of course, but it didn't read to me and didn't feel to me as it was meant as an attack on the club right? as such. OK, some people might hear this and think, OK, player unhappy because his, his friend and colleague is, is fired. But ultimately, is it going to be a big deal for Bayern or is when, when Neuer's fit again, is he going to be back in? Or do you think that this is a bit of a turning point between Neuer and the club? It could be. I think they will still find a way to just put away their disagreements 
and park them because there is no reason now for this to go any further. He is not playing. Mm. Mm. The goalkeeping coach Unless you is do another interview with them, in which case. <laughs> yeah. Or they lose to PSG. Yeah. yeah. And then well, the goalkeeping coach is gone. Yeah. Neuer will not be back before the summer at the earliest. So the question is what's next doesn't really need to be answered now. Okay. I think Bayern will look very carefully. How does he come back? How does Sommer perform in his absence? Does not my, um, Alexander Nubel, the second keeper, want to come back from Monaco? Mm. And then you need to have that conversation. I think in the meantime, what they'll say is, look, Manuel, you're the captain. We probably understand some of the stuff you said. Mm. You shouldn't have said it. But remember your responsibilities. Just be quiet. 50,000 euros, go to a charity. You give that money anyway. And everyone walks away for a few months. But... The, in, the impact on the team, I think, is such that they don't really care so much about a keeper that is not playing. But Manuel Neuer is a very important person in the dressing room. And he's not the only one who, I think, doesn't have the closest relationship with Julian Nagelsmann. Right. So bringing that out into the open, I think, will encourage more journalists and more players, perhaps, to dig into those fault lines right. between the club, the team, and the team and the manager. Mm. And that's where the disquiet will, will come from. But it would have come anyway. Bayern is that kind of club. And if Nagelsmann loses against PSG, even with Neuer not saying a word, he would still under pressure. Right. Would still be under pressure. FC Hollywood. The Totally Football Show podcast is available three times a week, bringing you all the football news you could reasonably be expected to care about. We've got views, we've got stats, we've got analysis, we've got some of the best football writers around, and the whole thing is absolutely free. So have a listen on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or all the usual places by clicking on the link below.